Hi, my name is Charles Shackleton and I'm one of the owners of Shackleton Thomas and we make handmade furniture. We have chosen a very particular type of finish to put on our furniture. It's an oil and wax finish which we use um, in, in preference over a lacquer style plastic finish. We believe that it gives over time it's much more restorable and gives the furniture a beautiful patina. Um, the the pl plastic and lacquer finishes tend to be extremely resilient up front and then when they start to wear, apart from looking kind of plasticky, you have to refinish the whole table. So we encourage you to uh, have use our oil and wax finish but also this video is about how you could, how you can maintain it. Some people let it go dull and they wait till their kids have left home and then they restore their table. Other people will wax their table uh, once a month or once every six months when they're just about to have a dinner party. I'm going to show you with the help of a kit that we have here how uh, you can quite easily do this yourself and you'll make your table look beautiful. This is the kit that we supply with every piece of furniture we send out or you can purchase it independently. It comes with very complete instructions on how to do what I'm just about to show you. Uh, it includes the wax itself, it includes the steel wool which we will use to buff down initially and also it includes a little bit of toweling to apply the wax and then it includes a cloth to rub down to get your final sheen. The first stage in preparing your table for the waxing process is to take the 4-0 steel wool and rub down the table. This will remove, it'll even out any deposits that might be on the table and it will remove perhaps any slight scratches. Always use the steel wool in the direction of the grain or at a slight angle to it, not across the grain. But you really can't do too much damage with this steel wool, despite the sound of the name. And what I tend to do, so I can remember where I started and where I finish, is I start going board by board. And you can actually sometimes see where the boards have been joined and work your way across. And remember, either go with the grain or at a slight angle to it, and also remember to do the edges. The other thing to remember is that the steel wool will start clogging up with the excess wax. And so in order to clear that, to keep on turning the steel wool and opening it up. And you can always buy more of this at your local hardware store, it's very easy to obtain. The next stage is to take the black bison clear or neutral paste wax and apply it to your table. One thing I should mention is that the wax has a slight smell, which is the solvent which carries the wax. This smell will dissipate, particularly if you leave windows and doors open within a day or so. If you have an issue with allergies or smells, you might want to use a different paste wax, such as Minwax. As in the last rubbing down with the steel wool, this time I'm going to apply the wax, doing it board by board. I apply it first in a circular motion, like this, and I work my way from one end of the board to the other. The key factor to remember with this is that you apply the wax as thinly as possible all the time. The least amount of wax that goes on. Initially in a circular motion to work it into the grain, and then to even it out uh, with the grain, constantly making sure you're not getting any lumps or bumps. Once you've done one board, then you move on to the next board. so helpful for people.
once you've put wax all over the table and you've done the edges and you've got out any streaks or marks, you can put the wax away and you can go away for 20 minutes to half an hour, make yourself a cup of tea. It doesn't matter how long you leave it. You could come back in two hours time and be fine. The main thing is that you're leaving the wax to dry so that when you come back and buff it, it will be, um, it will take a shine. Once you've completed your cup of tea, which you can see how to make correctly on our Shackleton Thomas blog post, according to my wife, you come back and you get the yellow cloth, the soft yellow cloth, and all you have to do is rub the table down and hopefully the table will be restored to a beautiful satiny sheen. And the other thing that you have to watch is that if they, the only problem that sometimes happens, if the wax is applied too thickly, it gets very hard to put a shine on it. So that earlier advice of putting the wax on as thinly as possible is absolutely crucial. But here goes, and this is how you do it, and stay in the direction of the grain or at a slight angle to it, and we'll see what happens. And as you buff it and shine it, you will notice that it comes up to a beautiful sheen. Making sure to remember all the edges and follow each board by board as you go along so you remember where to go. And then as you finish up, you can look for any dull spots and you will be able to look over the table and see that it is all one complete beautiful sheen and restored, if not even better than when you first received your table. Now that you've finished the process, you can see that it really wasn't too painful thing to do. Plus, it feels absolutely beautiful and it's got a wonderful sheen to the whole table and you've restored it. It's natural beauty. It's kind of like when you go to weed your garden, it gives you a chance to admire all the beautiful grain and to admire the patina on your table. If you have any issues at all while you're doing this process or any questions, we're always interested to hear from you. And you can call us anytime at our workshops and somebody will be here to help you. 802-672-5175 and good luck and we hope to see you here at our workshop soon again.